Thailand's King Rama X is well known for his controversial lifestyle. He had five children with his second wife, but after their divorce he cut ties with four of his sons, took away their royal titles, and sent them into exile only keeping his youngest daughter in a life of luxury. Why did he do this? Where are his sons now? You'll find out in this video. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated. Let's get started. Thailand still has a monarchy where the king holds significant power. The current king, Vajiralongkorn, also known as Rama X, took the throne after his father, King Bhumibola Duliadej, passed away in 2016. King Vajiralongkorn's wealth is estimated to be between 30 and 45 billion dollars, which allows him to live a very lavish and extravagant lifestyle. The king is not just known for his strange behavior but also for his love of women, which earned him the nickname the Playboy King in 2020. During the pandemic, he reportedly stayed at a Bavarian hotel with 20 women. These women, who are close to the king, often enjoy wealth and special privileges, but life with him hasn't always been happy for all of them. His first marriage, in 1977, was to Som Sawali Kitiakara, a cousin from his mother's side, and was reportedly arranged by his family. They had a daughter together, but the marriage lacked affection, and Maha quickly lost interest in Som Sawali, who he found unattractive. His heart was soon captivated by Yuvadhita Suratsawadi, a beautiful 16-year-old actress, which led to a romantic relationship. Since he couldn't divorce Somsali right away, Yuvadhita became his mistress. Their relationship lasted for many years, and they had five children together four sons and a daughter. It wasn't until 1993, after a long and strained marriage, that Maha was finally able to divorce Somsawali. This period was a controversial time in his life, blending royal duties with personal desires, which has continued to shape both his reign and the public's view of the monarchy. These personal choices, though private, have had a lasting impact on his and the royal family's image both in Thailand and internationally. A year after his divorce, King Mahavajiralongkorn married Yuvadhita Suratsawadi, the mother of his children. However, his mother, Queen Sirikit, disapproved of the marriage, as he had left her niece for Yuvadhita, who was a commoner. Despite this, Yuvadhita was given a royal title and even appointed as a major in the Royal Thai Army, starting to participate in royal ceremonies. For a while they seemed like the perfect royal family. But their happiness didn't last long. Just two years after their wedding, a major scandal broke out. Yuvadhita fled to the UK with her children after the Crown Prince accused her of having an affair with a 60-year-old air marshal, which enraged him. In response, he put up giant posters around the palace with insulting comments and images of Yuvadhita. To make matters worse, he granted his dog, Fu Fu, the title of Grand Marshal of the Air Force which many saw as a mocking gesture. This chaotic period reflected the mix of personal grievances and royal power, marking a turbulent chapter in his legacy. In 1996, the marriage between King Maha Vajiralongkorn and Yuvadhita Suratsawadi ended, leading to serious consequences for their children. The children were stripped of their royal titles, removed from the line of succession, disowned, and forced to live in permanent exile. However, in a surprising turn of events, Vajiralongkorn decided to bring his youngest daughter back to the palace. Many believe he did this because he had a special bond with her and couldn't stand being apart. There were also rumors that the scandal surrounding the affair might have been leaked by the young girl. As a result, the 10-year-old was taken from her mother and brought back to Thailand. Princess Sirivanavari was then reinstated with her royal titles and returned to a life of luxury within the palace. Meanwhile, in 1997, Yuvatita and her four sons had to begin a new life in the USA, where they were granted political asylum and eventually became citizens. This drastic shift highlights the stark differences in the lives of the royal siblings and the complex dynamics within the Thai royal family. The early years in the US were difficult for Yuvatita and her sons, with very little financial support. The eldest son even had to sell hot dogs at the Daytona 500 races to help the family make ends meet. To make things worse, it's believed that King Vajiralongkorn hired private detectives to keep tabs on them. Despite their efforts to rebuild their lives, the four sons were never allowed to contact their father again. In a heartfelt letter signed by all of them and sent to the Thai press, the sons expressed their deep pain, stating, Our father never loved us or treated our mother as his wife. She lived in servitude, and every time he found another woman. We were forced out of the house. This letter exposed the difficult and painful dynamics within the royal family. Meanwhile, Princess Sirivanavari who was brought back to live in luxury at the palace. 
has been unable to see her mother or brothers since they were exiled from Thailand. This separation underscores the stark contrast in the siblings' fates, revealing a deep divide within the family. Despite being separated from her mother and brothers, Princess Siravanavari found comfort in her love for sports and fashion design. She threw herself into these passions, perhaps as a way to deal with her family's split. The princess has excelled in equestrian sports and badminton, even representing Thailand in the SEA Games, where she won multiple awards, including gold medals. Her achievements have been a source of pride for the royal family, showcasing her resilience and talent. In 2007, Princess Siravanavari's passion for fashion led her to host her own fashion show in Paris, marking the beginning of her successful career as a designer. Over the years, she has collaborated with renowned brands and established herself as a key figure in the fashion industry. She has become a successful and respected modern woman, admired and loved by many in Thailand. Her journey demonstrates how she turned personal challenges into a path of success and recognition, making her a cherished figure in her country. Meanwhile, Yuvadhita's sons, despite their difficult start in the U.S., have grown into successful individuals. The eldest, Juthavahara, earned a master's degree in aeronautical science from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and worked in aircraft engineering. He later obtained a law degree from Thomas Jefferson School of Law in 2010 and married an American woman in 2013, with whom he has a son. The second son, Vakare Zorn, pursued a career in law and holds a master's degree from Stetson University College of Law in Florida. He is currently working as an attorney. The third son, Chakriwat, graduated with a BA in psychobiology from the University of Miami and went on to study medicine, becoming a medical doctor. The youngest, Vatrui, earned two bachelor's degrees from Stetson University, one in international business and the other in finance. Despite the challenges and drama of their early life in exile, these brothers have continued to pursue their dreams and achieve their own versions of success. They have demonstrated remarkable resilience and determination in building fulfilling lives, their mother must be incredibly proud of her son's achievements. Yet, they always longed to return to their homeland, and in August 2023, their wish came true. Vakaresorn made a surprise visit to Thailand after 27 years in exile, followed soon after by his brother Chakriwat. Their return attracted significant attention across the kingdom and sparked discussions about the possibility of their reintegration into the royal family after nearly three decades away. While their return to Thailand stirred rumors, the palace has not released any official statements about their status or future roles within the royal family. Speculation has increased about Vakarazorn possibly being named heir to the throne, especially given the current situation the king's eldest child, Princess Bajrakitiyaba, is in a coma with slim chances of recovery, and concerns have arisen about Prince Dipankorn, the king's youngest child, who is rumored to have learning difficulties. The possibility of one of the exiled sons ascending to the throne has become a topic of discussion. What do you think? Could one of these sons become king in the future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. See you in the next video.